Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of the War Report here on Cloudwing Valley. I'm your host, Faguara of the Gashke Tribe, and it is battle number 7, Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. It's been a very exciting evening. Lots of things changed hands, and uh, we got some new neighbors over here in the Borderlands. But before we jump too far into things, let's go ahead and make sure you know, next week, April 18th, guys, that's next Tuesday, all this chaos is going to begin. Technically, it's going to start on Monday. Tuesday will be the first war when Australia is open. The race for land is going to begin up there. But be warned, to get that land up in Australia, you got to get through the cohorts. Cohorts are tough. They're not an easy pushover. All those fiefs initially will have the Tyrant Army style cohorts in it, which will be more than just a regular five stack of AI guys just endlessly throwing themselves at you. They will be harder units, so be prepared for that. Go on up there, have a good time, and uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe you could be sitting on the, you know, the Golian throne at the end of the season. Never know. Monday, May 2nd, we are going to start the Usurp the Thrones. That's when the war for Tular Veros begins. On May 8th or 16th, Imperial Dawn begins, and that's when you can finally rush into the Agolia and take it. Keep that throne for yourself. Next up, we are going to go over a single alliance change. I only spotted one this week. Gondor officially joined the Rivendale Alliance. Congratulations. I hope you guys prosper and uh, last a lot longer than some of these other alliances that have popped up over the recent seasons. But uh, here's what we have right now. So, total of nine noteworthy alliances, two of which I haven't seen much action out of recently. Um, but we have Yellow Turbans, 89,850 total war score. They are pretty much dominating this season. Next highest is Seal Dynasty with 24,600 uh, total war score. Hibernia in third with 20,500. Revenant with 17,550. The kids next door creeping on up the ladder with 8,550. Rivendale, newly on the map, 8,550. No Evil, 3,000. Reminiscence still has 1,300 on the board. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. So Ruthless Act of God, please get in touch with me and let me know how to pronounce your alliance name because that's like arms something or other. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably sure it's easy like Goshki. Like you, who, who knows how to pronounce Goshki? Nobody. Because nobody speaks Irish. So... You know, it is what it is. All right, so we're going to jump on over to the Borderlands. So here's where we were at the beginning of the night. Now this is where things get crazy. So that's what it looked like before. And this is what it looked like after. You guys realize how much land flipped hands tonight? That is just insane. That is a crazy rush of land grab. What we had, we had Gondor gaining 17 new fiefs in the north. We had the Vigilantes gaining 8 new fiefs. Nemesis got 5 new fiefs. Mer Merkwood got 4, and Warborn got 8. That's a lot of capturing in a short amount of time. That's one hour. Uh, down in the south, this is what it looked like before. And here's what it looked like after. Taking a look at the battles of the south. We see that Nemesis got a new fief. Masonon got a new fief. Gondor got a new fief. The Blackwing Guard actually got two new fiefs. Warborn snagged two. Goshkia got one. Vigilantes got one. And Partisans scored seven fiefs tonight. Congratulations to everybody who pulled in some new properties. Now looking at the houses of the Borderlands, it was down to just a handful. And now we have a whole onslaught of houses here again. So we have Gondor leading the pack with 4,650. Nemesis with 4,200. Goshkia with 2,850. Warborn 2,700. Vigilantes 1,950. Masonon 1,650. Odin 1,650. Partisans 1,350. Goshkia Dub 1,150. Merkwood 900. Borderlands still have their 750 fief. Blackwing Guard with 450. Next up, we take a look at the Prosperity. 
even with all that war going on, we're still sitting at a 57%. Still looking good, guys. Still looking good. Not totally decimated. This is good. So what we have is a 99% free houses. There's one property that is still legion controlled, which is down in the bottom west. It requires level 7 to take it, which is why it's still legion. And we're up 2,800 over where it began. So things are getting upgraded in the borderlands. Nemesis now owns six fees for 1,350. In second, we have Mason on with 750. Goshke Dub with 550. Goshke with 450. Odin with 450. The top fortified strongholds in the region, Bridia at rank 7, 1200 prestige. The top growing villages, we have Isn't, rank 3, 250 prestige. Next up, we're going to jump on over just to the west, Ungavaria. Here we go. So that's what we started with. Now check this out. This is interesting. So the borderlands kind of flooded with, you know, everybody. And then this started becoming more blue. Like cohorts really grabbed up a bunch of land at night. Um, as everyone was mass exodusing. Um, so what we have here, we have Radiance with two new fiefs. And both of those fiefs from what I saw were pretty rough. So well fought, guys. Everybody that was fighting in in those fiefs over there on the west side. Uh, cohorts scored five new fiefs. Midway Kings, two new fiefs. First Order, three new fiefs. Here, get, gained a fief, and Hurt gained a fief. Well fought all around over there. So, the houses of the region. There we go. We have the Ungavarian Cohort still sitting on top, 11,250. Radiance in second with 2,700. First Order in third with 1,950. Murder with 900. Midway King 750. Hurt 600. Speak 450. Mason 450. Here 300. Partisans 150. Taking a look at the race for Tillerveros, we have the cohorts currently defending, and that's going to be a hard fight. Anyone who thinks that's going to be easy is full of themselves. Yellow Turbans is now in the lead to storm that capital so if it was to be tuesday already well i guess not tuesday but down the road when the tularveros opens uh yellow Charbers would be able to get the ruling house right as it stands now now seal dynasty is going to need to balance that out creep above them so that they can have the defense like they had last time so we'll see how this all plays out but i still think that these two are going to go toe to toe and that's only if one of the two can get through the cohorts It'll be an interesting tail end of the season, to be sure. So taking a look at the regional prosperity, this zone has suffered. It has been a very war-torn region. Very, very war-torn region. Plus, it had about two weeks where nobody could do anything over there, so everything was being downgraded. So we have a 48% free houses, 52% legion owned. Um, it's a negative 4,450 prosperity which is the difference between where it started and where it is now. Currently, we do have a positive renowned house, and that's Speak. That's 150 renown. So congratulations, Speak. You are the first one to get on the board this season. Um, over on the top fortified strongholds, we have Aseji and Sultivar, uh, Raz and Horka, all rank 5. Top growing village, we still have that rank 4 Raseji owned by the cohorts. So that's your, your big village on campus over there all right so that brings us to the fun part who wants 20,000 silver type in cv now if you haven't already we're gonna spend a minute here and uh let you guys roll and we'll see who wants to win some silver yep 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 everyone needs silver easy money Alrighty, looks like we're coming to a slow, so we're going to go ahead and roll it. Congratulations to the Insider. I will shoot you your code shortly after the stream. I don't even know who is Insider is. Don't call me rigged. Whatever. Shoot fly. Alright, most prestigious. Nemesis currently on top, 1,350. Gosh, you get dub in second, 
550. Gashkia in third, 450. Odin in fourth, 450. Macedon, 420. Merkwood, 150. Parsons, 150. And Speak, 150. Top Fort, Vesegi, rank 5. Sultivar, rank 5. Top Towns, Bridia, rank 7. Top Villages, Vesegi and Bergdorf, rank 4. Taking a look at your favorite list, the Movers and Shakers. Who won, who lost, who gained, who lost. And here we go. So we have Gondor on top with 15 new fiefs. Warborn gained 10 new fiefs. Vigilantes gained 9 new fiefs. Partisans gained 7. Nemesis gained 5. Merkwood gained 4. First Order gained 3. Blackwing Guard gained 1. And Goshka gained 1. Over on the Lhasa side, Radiance lost 28, Midway Kings lost 20, Mason lost 10, Murder lost 1, and Speak lost 1. So, this brings us to the top houses. Congratulations to Gondor taking number 1 of Rivendell. 7,650 total war score, currently level 6. Prestige is 4,650, 210 triumphs if it was to end tonight. And Esmeray is the liege. Population is 99. In second place, we have Nemesis of Revenant. 8,400. Total war score. Level is 6. Prestige is 4,200. Property value, 230 triumphs. Purely Casey is the liege. Population is 99. In third place, we have Goshkia of Hibernia. 7,650. Total war score. Level 6. Prestige is 2,850. 165 triumphs, property value. And Foglada is the leash, that's me. And population is 98. In fourth place, we have Radiance, the Yellow Turbans. 41,400 total war score, level 6, 2,700 prestige. 145 triumphs, Hawkeye is the leash, population is 100. In 5th place, we have Warborn of Revenant, 3,600 total war score, level is 6, uh, prestige is 2,700, property value is 120 triumphs, mandatory is a liege, population is 90. Look at that gain. In 6th place, Macedon of the Yellow Turbans, 23,400 total war score, uh, the level is 6, the prestige is 2,100, 105 triumphs is the property value. Dresden is the liege. Population is 99. Coming in seventh, we have first order. 10,400 total war score. Level six, 1,950 is the prestige. 95 is the triumphs. Tong Tong is the liege. Population is 88. Looking in at eighth place, we have Vigilantes of Revenant. 5,550 total war score. Level is 5. The prestige is 1,950. Property value is 85 triumphs. Lugotrix is a leash. Population is 99. In ninth, we have Odin of Hibernia. 7,050. Level is 5. Prestige is 1,650. Property value is 90 triumphs. Larsenator is a leash. Population is 100. And in 10th place, we have... Partisans of Seal Dynasty, 4,600 total war score, level is 4, the prestige is 1,500, property value of 60 triumphs, Argila is the leash, population is 62. And that brings us on over to our final standing, there you go, that is our board of the week, at least until Saturday. Congratulations to everyone who managed to score some land. I think this is one of the most people on the board in a single week. Barely even fits on the screen. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at those alliance gains and losses. There we go. So number one, the Revenant Alliance. We had a total of 24 new fiefs. Rivendale, 19 new fiefs. Seal Dynasty, 9 new fiefs. And Hibernia, 1 new fief. Biggest losses, Yellow Turban lost 58. No Evil lost 1. 
Mark my words, I think yellow turbans just consolidate and get ready for the big push in Australia. They need at least a week to rebuild that reputation. So we'll see. All right, first place, Revenant, 17,550 total war score currently. Their prestige is 8,850. Property value of 435 triumphs. Population is 288. Vigilantes is the lead. Nemesis and Warborn are their secondaries. Coming in at second place, we have Hibernia. 20,500 total war score. Prestige is 5,650. Property value of 315 triumphs. Population is 287. Goshki is the lead with Odin and Goshki Dub at their side. And then in third place, we have Yellow Turbans, 89,850 total war score. Prestige is 5,550. Property value of 285 triumphs. Population is 295. Radiance is the lead with Mason and Midway Kings at their side. Coming in at fourth, we have Revendale, 5,550. Current prestige is 5,550. Brand new alliance, brand new board. 250 is a triumphs, 195 is the population. Merkwood is the lead with Gondor at their side, and look at that gain. Good second uh, round right in. Number five, we have Seal Dynasty, 24,000 is their total war score. 4,150 is their prestige, or sorry, 4,350 is their prestige. 205 triumphs, population 241. First order is the lead with Parsons and Murder at their side. In six, we have No Evil. With 3,000 total war score, 750 prestige, 35 triumphs, property value, and then population of 267. Here is the lead with Speak and See at their side. And that should bring us around to the kids next door. 1,800 total war score. The pres prestige right now is sitting at 600. Property value of 20 triumphs. Population of 98. Hurt is the head of the house in that alliance. And then, I don't think we have an 8th on the board. Nope, we just have the Blackwing Guard, which are still riding solo. Have a total of 450 prestige. If you're looking for alliance mates, they might be it. Reach your arm out and see if they want to come on over. You never know. They could join you. In any case, that brings us to the close of our show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope that you enjoyed it forward to seeing you again on Saturday. It's going to be a wild good time. It's going to be the last time before Australia opens and uh, all hell breaks loose in three regions. So enjoy the, the week, guys. Get those feet quests in. Upgrade some beasts. We're starting to report on Saturday. And have a great time, guys. I'll see you later.